heard of people hollering these and using them as posts when the um, little shoots grow back. They have thorns up until they're very large though, so you wouldn't be able to use the post until they get this size. This side, right here, has no thorns. Up here, it's full of thorns. But there's a jujube right here. Figured we'd give it a little bit more light. Also, black locusts are nitrogen fixtures. Be good for the soil. jujube right here if I planted it too deep actually but it's finally growing some shoots off of it if I do hope to get anything out of it though I need to plant another one I believe I think they need um, more pollinators Man, I thought there were eggs in here. Freaking lettuce. The lady brought me eggs. I thought there were eggs in there. But it's only lettuce. You need enough? Tank. I'm gonna let them dry there for a while. And we'll crush them up and throw them in the garden. I think this cow manure is fairly aged. Um, we're gonna put these on top of the beds, 
that are have deep mulch on them. Um, we're not gonna plant these till spring, so I probably I wouldn't put fresh cow manure on like a, just a regular garden that we're about to use, but it'll be sitting for a few months, so I think it'll be okay. Too deep. Yeah, we're gonna load this up and get it dumped out. You rappy. I just want love, don't y'all? I gotta get back to work. Right now I'm at actually where I work, which is Roots and Refuge Farm. You should follow them on YouTube if you don't. But uh, just so you know, if I am in two different places. In a lot of these videos, I'll be here at work, which is, you know, doing a lot of the similar things that I actually do at home. So some of the footage will be here, some of it will be at my house, but I thought I'd let y'all know that. These cows obviously eat hay. Um, I would not use the manure if I didn't know where the hay came from. <laughs> Guess Amaya's neighbor grew this hay, which is right across the road, and he didn't spray anything. So um, there are persistent herbicides. These graze on, which is amino pyrrolid. You got to watch out for that stuff. So don't use cow manure, horse manure, or anything that's been fed hay unless you're really sure that those amino pyrrolids are not in it, because they will ruin your nightshades in your garden and challenge a lot of your plants. But we know where it came from, so we're going to use it. We're doing an eight foot gap between this garden and this one so we can drive the skid steer through here easily. If you're going to use the free mulch from the recycling facility, have you a bucket for the trash? There's a lot of it.
RC in every location of my life right now. This is my mom's house. Uh, Taylor and I lived here like two or three, two, almost three years. And I planted a lot of perennials out here, so. Um, just pruning, this is a honey crisp apple right here. I've pruned these before, so. Not a gigantic amount of work needs to be done. But some nonetheless. I'm gonna just come back and pick up these limbs later. A couple of pruning tips that I've learned. I'm not a professional by any means. But, um, so when you cut a branch off, you don't want to cut right up against the the main trunk. You want to actually leave that collar right there intact. There's like a collar around every branch. And the smaller ones, you don't notice them as much, but the big ones, you can actually see them. And you just want to not cut that. And if it's a branch that's like going straight up like that, you want to kind of cut it at, a, at an angle. That way when water hits it, it runs off and it just less likely that the tree is going to be able to catch a disease or anything it's just it makes it more where the water doesn't sit there um, we also don't want any branches like going in to the middle of the tree we have a lot of humidity here in the south so it's nice when you let the the breeze flow through so any branch like this that's potentially going to grow back towards the middle we cut I have my large printers today. I'll get to do that another time. But we basically want the tree to be kind of coming out. When you look at it, you want it to come out at you and like, you know, away from the ground. So, yeah, anything like this, I don't really want. I hope y'all can see this tree it's pretty good. I got something growing out the graft right here. If I remember to cut it. Yeah, there's something. I don't remember what this is grafted onto. This right here is a cornelian cherry, which is a type of dogwood. I don't know if I've ever seen anybody growing these in the south, but they have edible fruit on them. So this, I don't know if this one's ever been pruned. So this is going to take some work. Another thing with pruning, I don't like branches to like run into each other. Um, like this branch is kind of running into where this one's going to grow. So I'll cut that. It's always good to step back. I haven't started, but when you get done, step back and look at it and you can really take in what else needs to be cut. Like this branch right here had ripped. Good spot for infection, probably good to cut that. This, this is a peach tree, it had a lot of peaches on it. I also cut any branches that are growing down. As I said, I want them growing more kind of like this branch. Kind of out like that. Out like that. And this one looks like it's going that way. So I'm gonna let it live for now. But if they're going straight down, I cut them. I've only been able to harvest a few fruits off, off these trees. Most years I have to pick them off because the deer will just tear the limbs straight off the trees. So I've been picking most of them off and just letting these branches get really strong and now I can really start uh, allowing them to grow more fruit. This is a Japanese persimmon though and deer don't mess with the Japanese persimmon too much which is weird because they love American persimmons, but American persimmons are really soft. They're just really different. They might not know where they are here, I don't know. But they definitely don't mess with Asian persimmons. They have a really weird growth pattern. The Asian. Part two of the video, I'll be on a ladder.